Bojack. Hello and welcome to round three. Hello. On our left we have Steven. Hi. You may remember him from being a dirty cheater in round one. Shut up. <laughs> I didn't mean to. Not that I was. Uh, and on our right, <laughs> <laughs> and on our right, we have Evil Gaz, Gary B, the Nordic champion. Oh yeah, he is the Nordic champion. With that beautiful Nisema, and we have Any H versus Wizard. Yeah, not the best for Any H. No, Wizard obviously being a phenomenal meta call at the moment because everyone's got assets, lots of them. Yeah, it's. Um... It's not like back in the old days where. Operations ruled. Wizard's actually pretty good. Yeah, he's really coming to his own. Yeah, those digs on R and D that you can that he allows you to do, as well as just controlling the simple pad campaigns and whatnot. Speaking of which, uh, start with hedge fund. Didn't see what I used to put down there, but I've got pad campaign in hand. And did you just gain a credit? Uh, must have. Yeah. Have you forgotten to take your money? Uh, no, I think that's a stack of. All right, yeah. So a quick poke on R and D. Always good out of wizard because you can hit early Jacksons or anything and stuff. HQ, HQ, sorry. So break and news early. Oh, yeah, I've got the fifteen minutes in hand there. We've rather you got that. Speaking of which, oh no. Yeah, it wasn't a good start. I think I'm rather into that. And no, Astro, there's an Astro. Yeah. Install the pad campaign. Yeah. Draw. Still nothing. I've told me it's not getting res anytime soon. Way too much. And yeah. No, no messing around there. Just getting the fifteen minutes straight back. Yeah, I think I must have learned from the first round against Tom, mm. where uh, yeah, where he uh, came ever so close to securing that victory if he, when he got those four points off R and D. Right, yeah. Shuffle the fifteen minutes back previously. Not happening again. No, no. I think I learned my lesson that day. Yeah, you could have maybe made it a bit longer, but. Have you got that spare it. click? Yeah, I didn't have anything else to do. So yeah, that's it. Yeah. So pad campaign gone. Bye bye. This is the problem here. I think that must have been. Yeah, that swordsman down there. Oh, there's, geez, oh, there's yeah. a beetle. I thought it was 15 minutes again. So Gary being super aggressive here. Yeah, problem is he didn't get. Oh, jeez, yeah. All the ice I saw was huge. I've got totally from the satellite down there. And he's, Ooh, that's an archives interface in the bin. Right on HQ. What was that on the HQ, sorry? Straight, uh, Enigma straight on HQ. Oh, oh no. no, R&D. Gary B uh, discarding an archives interface, which I think is an interesting include. Yeah, probably doesn't need that early. I think maybe I could have put that Enigma over there just to get some money going, instead of just letting him trash the pad. Mm. And you probably want to defend HQ at some point, but you probably re if you don't want to res that swordsman, you're going to need that other piece of ice on R&D. Yeah, another agenda... Ice take money. Yeah, I think. There's Sansan. San. Keep him busy, keep him occupied. Can always Jackson it back. <laughs> so checks the remotes, kills the Sansan San on site. Yep. As she should. Pop Jackson in and let's check back. Three, two pads in the sand zone. Oh, my nigga was powerless <coughs> against his pancakes. Oh no, that is actually great. It is quite funny when they, when you do that because you, you, you must have seen it early, so you must have just needed something to get out of his hand. Mm. Um, but it's just quite funny sometimes when you just you face part of it and it's like, no, don't lose clicks, sorry. No, thank you. I had breakfast this morning. <laughs> so CVS might be useful in this matchup, yeah. but whether you'll keep on to it is a different. High 15 minutes, yeah. So it. smashing out that Astro. Yeah, get it out there while I can. Yep. Way too many agendas in hand. Yeah, and it's been really aggressive. There's no, you can't really wait around. Nope. Just by the way I'm playing, I seem to be just kind of, I seem to be looking really impatient. Hmm. I think maybe it's just because I'm stressing because I'm against, get, cause I'm against Gary. Those mind games are already uh, uh, yeah. playing a factor here. Random access. Mm. Uh, 
and there's the pancake party. Yeah. Yeah, mental state in that runner it can definitely not there. Unfortunately, the CVS goes. Yeah. Uh, mental state in that runner can't be underestimated. If you can, if your opponent's just having fun, then and you're stressing, mm. then you're the one likely to make the uh, silly mistakes. Yeah. I feel like I'm just panic drawing and installing and drawing at this point. Hmm. I feel like I should well, be protecting my servers as opposed to just digging. Yeah, potentially. It's it's nice to keep the runner occupied though, so he can't he doesn't get set up as quick because he's got to make the runs, he's got to check the stuff, and yeah, you are triggering your your ability with the install, and you're running Jackson to bring him back. So I don't think it's the worst. It's not the worst, but at the same time, like. I've already noticed a few times where it's like mm, I really should have like tried icing right way, instead of or just even icing up a few assets yeah, like even ooh. instead putting that instead of putting that enigma down I could have put it against a uh, like probably just protecting like a pad or something just to keep mm. the money ticking over yes yeah yeah you don't often to think to uh, protect the pad or yeah. want to protect the pad because you don't want to spend the money to but it's just against it. wizard you kind of have to no no I agree I agree it's just yeah I clearly haven't learned my lesson but at this point against Wizard. <clears throat> well, the Astro train is fully in motion as well at the moment. Yeah, but take myself down to one credit process. Yeah, but as, as you said, you see you seem a little panicky. Yeah. And there's the medium. That's a wizard's win condition. Mm -hmm. oh, I've got this sweeps there, so. Oh nice. And with uh, Pancake Party on sweeps is always gonna be live. Yeah. Uh, did you catch what you installed? Uh, the uh, DBS. The DBS, yeah. And then... Do I, do I protect it? Yeah, as I should. Maybe learnt your lesson at this point. Yeah, a bit too late, I think, though. Yeah, potentially, because it can use... You can hit R and D at, at the moment, and then you're more likely to res the ice there instead of in front of the pa uh, the DBS. Yeah, it is a rough run, though, so I can spend all my money to protect both, but then I can't res the DBS, but still. And as you said, that sucks. Yeah. Having Pancake... Oh, no. You still lose the click, wouldn't it, because he's spent it to wild side. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, excellent. <clears throat> that dies. That's going to die pretty quick. Do you keep the economy there? Yeah, I do. Again, no, he just runs and, just runs and trashes it, and it's just nothing to him. That's the problem with the wizard. You can mm -hmm. keep him busy, but it's just... You don't impact he, him as much. Exactly. You know? like, it's just a bit of time you take off him. Yeah. And then as soon as Wildside comes in, like it's, it just gets everything. You can afford to spend those those clicks checking the remotes as well, because he's yeah. getting constantly fed with cards. Which also because generally with wizard, it doesn't... It, only really costs him time and not money. Mm -hmm. Like with money, you're only really spending one or two. Yeah. Which yeah. for a and wizard it, is it, not that much. But if you think about other runners who are actually having to spend all their credits to trash those things, mm -hmm. that's why wizards are just so <coughs> good because it's just pure economy in terms yeah. of the meta at the moment. And with Faust hitting the table there, yeah. you're just speaking about money, it's like obviously you don't need money to run Faust as well. So he says installing a liberty, li liberty, liberty, liberated account. Yeah, hard installing the liberated. Yeah. I suppose, last click though, he's got um, daily casts, so mm. starting on two credits, you can just smash that out to six and then get going. Yeah, well that's it, it's almost like a day job at that point, it's just set set with his money there. Yeah. There's not a lot you can do to protect R&D, so you do have the, the solvesman down. Yeah. Wild side. It's just annoying uh, seeing it early on because you really ideally want it. See what early on? Uh, swordsman. Yeah, like, I suppose. Well, it's nice you, to lay it down though. Well, no, it's also because you ideally want it behind an end run. Ooh. Just, mm. uh, sorry, in front of an end run, I mean. Yeah. No, 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 no I, I get that. So you can trash it and then actually end the run with. A wrap around or whatever. Yeah, ideally you'll probably want an enigma because mm -hmm. they, they probably won't have the, the uh, well, your uh, any kind of decoder. Yeah, there's not 
there's nowhere near as much yog about nowadays. I couldn't tell you the last time I saw yog on the table these days. Yeah, I, well, I was building a Jinteki deck the other day and I included like six code gates that had like below three strength. Yeah. And I was like, wait a minute, if someone plays yog against me, I'm, I, I lose. But wait a minute, when that's was the last like time an, anyone played yog? That's not like a niche case, yeah, that's the thing. It's just Anarchs can't afford the influence really that much. You play it like that, so. I think it's because like, most Anarch decks you're seeing are the ones like this. Mm. Or like Max variants where she doesn't really need Yogg. Not allowing any of your eyes to live. No. But at least Faust is temporarily gone. I say temporarily because Wizard probably got the colon chips. Sweet nothing from R&D. But that medium a little bit threatening now. Is that, yeah. Is that a Turing? Uh, no. What ice was that? Uh, I don't know. Sure maybe it wasn't ice. No. So, building some, building some remotes. Yeah. Still very low on money. Yeah. Kind of playing those cards just to use them at this point, aren't you? Instead yeah. of just if gain three, discard them. Well, it's also now like he's at the point where he doesn't necessarily have the time to start checking the modes. Or if not, then at least he's not for any medium, which is what I don't want him to do. Yes, that's it. At least he's not running his win condition then, which could quickly get out of hand. Especially if he just starts taking this net damage. To the, like just one net damage to the face that's yeah. far medium runs that's the thing like, I've got an enigma down I've got an enigma there like do I protect, put that down to protect the marked accounts and try and get a bit of money or do I well do but I think the better play would have been to put that over R&D I think certainly put it over R&D yeah. to be honest it's just too dangerous for him to go run 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 like far runs and he's, he's, he's messed up uh, so deja vu there's the date so going to Parasite great don't need Faust <laughs> no <clears throat> not, not broke a single piece of ice destroyed them all no you uh, knifed the uh, water staff oh correct turntable very dangerous at this point as well ooh wait he's going to yeah. sweep the 15 minutes with the Astro I don't think he does. He's not forgotten, has he? I think oh he has. my yeah, he days! Is. I was about to say that's that a, is that that is absolutely brutal. And you're back in the money now. Oh man! Yeah. That that if he switched that, that's probably game. Uh, yeah, at that point, I'd forgotten that, actually. Whoa, tall move. Ends the run since he didn't have three. Oh, I think there was a CVS in the bin, which is why everything got purged. Oh, right, you're nice. I was wondering where all the counters went. Yeah, that's nice, and it stops the uh, data sucker mining. I'm still kind of shocked about that 15 minutes. Yeah, I'd forgotten about that. But well, you were saying as well that if it was going to be pretty powerful as he stole it. And I was like, oh, well, yeah, that's probably why. Yeah. Spoilers. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <clears throat> Overwriting the parasite. Did you catch what it was? Was it another enigma? No, I think it was. might have been uh, Little Engine. Mm. Will you have an economy asset that lives? Lives so, a turn. That's a wraparound over. Uh... Ah, there's the clone chip as well. So whatever your res is going to die. And switch. He didn't switch again. Yeah. And that's uh, game. Yeah. Switch doesn't matter. Who needs to switch? Who needs to turntable stuff? Well, an unfortunate end for Steve there. Wow, that was. 
That was a nice quick game. I it enjoyed it. It was a learning it. experience for me now as well, like watching how shite I was playing. <laughs> I was playing so badly. Yeah, well, Gary, Gary's uh, aggression was relentless. Yeah. He was running everywhere, checking everything, really making the most out of his ability. And once that medium hit the table, it's it's kind of di- like he just didn't bother letting any pieces of ice r- live for a second. Nah, I mean, that was... Every time there was a piece of ice rezzed, it was like, nope, this this, this dies, this yeah, dies. That was pretty much textbook wizard at that point. Oh, just yeah. Destroying anything that I was able to res, destroying all of my economy. Yeah. Yeah, and as you... Really should have been protecting those assets. Well, well I get to play wizard. Now it's your turn. Cool, well, join us in a sec. Bye. <laughs>